Hi, I hope you're having a great day. Well, today I want to talk about the deficiency of this one vitamin that we need to understand has an important role in the prevention of osteoporosis. Now, osteoporosis is caused by many factors. It could be related to your vitamin D levels, your C levels, lack of sufficient activity and several other reasons ranging from a poor diet to too much of acidity in the body too much of stress in the human body as well but uh, number one the vitamin that we want to talk about today is vitamin k now vitamin k is basically a group of two compounds vitamin k1 and vitamin k2 we find vitamin k1 in basically plant sources and in some of the non-vegetarian sources as well. But vitamin 2 is basically synthesized and found in your intestinal flora, which is your microbiome, which is your gut. So if you have poor gut health, too much of acidity, bloating, constipation, and all of these issues, you have a problem with your intestinal flora, which means you're not even assimilating or synthesizing the right vitamins. So like we always say, it's not about popping multivitamins, it's not about popping superfoods, it's about your digestion, it's about how well your digestive system can break down food and absorb it. Now, when vitam vitamin K plays a very, very important function when it comes to the clotting of your blood. Extremely, extremely important when it comes to the clotting of your blood. Extre ex extremely important role when it comes to bone formation. You need to understand that bone formation is extremely, extremely important. Too many young adults, teenagers ignore this and then we get, we have cases of people with osteoporosis in their early 30s, their early 40s and that's not the time it's supposed to come. In fact, it shouldn't have to come if we're maintaining the right lifestyle and the right diets. But we find this happening because of deficiencies of certain vitamins. So if your bones don't have vitamin K, which helps them form, we're going to have a problem. And all the amount of vitamin D3, calcium and all of that stuff, and all the osteoporosis injections are not going to fix the problem. We need to make sure that the human body gets all the vitamins and minerals that it needs in the right quantity through the right sources. Sometimes even one deficiency of a particular vitamin can lead to 10 and 15 different problems in your body just the deficiency of one vitamin and you correct that one problem and so many other problems get fixed like people who have low vitamin b12 they have tingling sensations under their feet their fingers their body pain they have brain fog low levels of energy they can't think straight and then you find their b12 levels are low you you shoot you pump up their b12 levels and all the symptoms disappear the, the same thing with vitamin d3 fatigue pain in the knees pain in the joints pain in your shoulders cervical low energy levels putting on weight especially in the abdominal area you check their vitamin D levels, it's low, you fix the vitamin D levels and all of these symptoms slowly disappear. So coming back to vitamin K, now people who have liver diseases, people who have extremely low fat diets or they have a problem with fat malabsorption in their system, people who have poor gut health, their microbiome, they have candidas in, in, you know, in their system, they have SIBO. They have all, which is small intestinal bacterial uh, overgrowth. You have all of these pro uh, problems and a poor diet, which is not balanced. A unbalanced diet will miss out on giving you vitamins and minerals, which is why we're so against fat diets, because certain fat diets stop you from eating fruits, certain vegetables, and all of that stuff to help you lose weight. But you end up having a nutritional deficiency of certain vitamins and minerals that actually cause more problems in the future. So people with all these problems will usually have a low level of vitamin K and by boosting that up through the foods which we're going to talk about takes care of that. Now vitamin K2 plays a huge role in the health of your heart. One of the biggest problems with heart health today is the hardening of the arteries in the heart. Now vitamin K2 plays a huge role in preventing the hardening of the arteries in your heart. So you can be exercising, you can be doing whatever you want, but if you don't have this vitamin K2 in your system, you will find that your arteries harden and that causes blockages, high blood pressure, and all the other issues. We spoke about bone health. When it comes to bone health, vitamin K again, magnesium levels. Now the beauty is that foods which are rich in vitamin K are also rich in magnesium. So you see, nature gives us the foods that contain the vitamins and minerals that we need for a particular function in the human body. So when you're having a balanced diet, it takes care of all of that. Interestingly, the International Journal of Oncology talks about the role of vitamin K in slowing down cancer cell growth and tumor growths in the lungs, in the colon, in cases of oral cancer, and also in cases of leukemia. 
So this plays such a huge role. We always talk about cancer and immunity. You think cancer, you think immunity. You think cancer, you think that your immune system has to be harnessed and so strong that it can start recognizing the mutated cells and all of these issues. Of course, there are some highly genetic cancers where the cells are able to trick the immunity and the intelligence of the body. But we're talking about the basic vitamins that these patients need, which is why it is so important that a patient with cancer makes lifestyle changes in terms of their diet, their exercise, their vitamins, and all of these things, because the treatment that they're going through is depleting the body of all these vitamins. And if you're not putting it back into their system, you're literally allowing these cancers to come back, the immune system to stay down, and the cancer is becoming metastatic. Vitamin K plays a huge role in Alzheimer's, as science is now proving it. So technically, if your body has the right amount of vitamins, it's taking care of all these functions automatically. When it comes to diabetes, huge role in improving insulin sensitivity. So you increase your vitamin K through your natural foods and you can improve your insulin sensitivity, making this very, very beneficial for diabetics. So let's get straight into it. What are the foods that are rich in it? Now, remember, we spoke about vitamin K1 and K2. By just going and popping, popping vitamin K supplements, but you have a bad gut, you're not really gonna complete the process. So always work on your gut health. It is so important to do that. We've done videos on that, which we'll post after that. But spinach, number one, rich in vitamin K. Kale, if it's local to your country, it's growing in. Kale is extremely rich in vitamin K, making it good for your bones, for your heart, for cancers, for diabetes. Then you have lettuce. So all of your salads, you have the cruciferous family of vegetables, your broccoli, your cabbage, your cauliflower. Now these are your vegetarian sources along with parsley, all, mostly all of your green leafy vegetables, including your turnip greens, your beetroot greens, your Swiss chard, your Brussels sprouts. All of these green vegetables are rich in vitamin K, which is why we should be eating some of these every day. Now non-vegetarian sources like chicken, eggs, and fish also contains vitamin K. So if you're vegetarian, you stick to the vegetarian options. If you're non-vegetarian, you, you get a mix of both, the non-vegetarian source of vitamin K and the vegetarian source of vitamin K. And this is extremely, extremely important for you to understand even for your kids' health. Because a lot of infants and young children have a deficiency of vitamin K if they don't get the right amount of fat in their diets. Vitamin A, D, E and K are fat soluble vitamins. You can go on popping it, but if you don't have enough of fat, it can't absorb it into your system. And vitamin B and the rest are water soluble vitamins. So it's so it's important to understand a lot of men and women cut out oil from their diets completely. They go on these oil free diets. You may lose weight, but you're not absorbing most of the vitamins that are necessary for every cellular function in the human body. So aim for balance. It ain't aim for balance. One question we need to ask ourselves, okay, is there are so many people who lose all of their weight, maintain it and, and build great bodies by living in balance. They eat, they don't diet. They eat the right foods, the right portions, they exercise, they sleep, they take care of their stress levels. So why do we need fad diets? We only need fad diets when we're not disciplined to eat the right way. When we're not disciplined to make changes in our sedentary lifestyles, our sleep. We don't want to change though, so we want a quick fix that promises quick weight loss like a fad diet. And they never work. You lose weight, but you lose your health along with that. So you want to make sure that if you have heart patients in your family, for anyone, vitamin K is extremely important, especially as we age, senior citizens, parents, all of that stuff. We want to make sure that we can prevent Alzheimer's, dementia, Parkinson's, and all of these brain-related issues. Vitamin K plays a huge role along with vitamin B12 and vitamin D3. Have a great day, everyone. Until next time, eat smart, move more, sleep right, and breathe deep.